Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just want to say thanks for those that really gave me feedback on my photo and really enjoyed the, the work that I put in. So I'm just going to show you a video for those that requested on how to achieve that look on the particular photo. And yeah, this is my first video, so please bear with me with the quality and, and how to do it. Um, I'll make some better ones in the future. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm just going to do a quick video just to show you how I get some of the, the colours in some of my photos. Um, I recently posted a photo on um, Reddit and got some really, really good feedback. But also some people wanted to see what I did in post-processing to, to get the, the look that I did. Um, so just a quick background of why I wanted to make it look dark and eerie. This was taken in a... In a a museum but it's a town that has been uh, kept the same as from the industrial revolution and it's the black country living museum in the west midlands in the uk it's a fantastic day out and um yeah so i wanted to kind of create that old kind of cold industrial era, era look and so i'm just going to share with you uh those things that i did right so first thing i wanted to do was uh bring the the blues in you can see that the original picture is quite cold so I brought this to about here and then when I was playing I just did a little little tint there uh, and then the exposure I'm just going to bring up slightly there we go and the contrast bring that up to about 30 and then I'm going to bring all the highlights down you see, then you can see through the window. You can really see what's going on out there. All right, and then with the highlights down, the shadows up because I want to see what's in here. So you can see, there we go. We can still see, which is nice. Um, and then the whites, I want to bring up a little bit as well. What about there? And the blacks just up slightly. Okay, so that's where we're at now. You can see that we've got kind of that nice blueness going on, like the original photo. Um, but obviously there was quite a lot of clarity in it, so I'm going to bring the clarity up as well. And then I'm just going to drop the vibra vibrance and the saturation to match more or less this. And you can see how that looks there. Alright, so it's gone a bit more cold and a bit more, more shallow. Okay, so the next step was actually the uh, tonal curves that you can see here. And what I did with this basically was just really just play around. So you can kind of play with the, the shadows like this and I really just messed around to kind of create like this nice sort of shape where it's a little bit dark but I can bring this up a little bit and you can see you can keep playing with it to, to light it however much you want About there looks about right. So you can see you got a nice curve. Probably want this curved a little bit more, and then bring your lights up, and then highlights. We might just push up like this. So we've got that nice kind of S curve going on there. Alright, so after this we go into the hue saturation and luminance. Now I'll quickly type these in, but the hue we did 21, 25, 8, minus 5, 
and these kept at zero for the saturation. Kept this, and then we brought these down. Let's say weird me down to about minus eighty two. Three. Minus eighty four. Seven here, and then up for the blues again, just to bring that blues up for now. Minus eighty-one for here, and then minus eighty-two for here. Uh, and then the luminance again, we're just keeping the reds out. The orange we're going to bring up to about forty-eight. Yellow up to about twenty, and then. Drop these down to about here. So we get that nice kind of dark blue look again. Um, but now we can change that look with the with the split toning. Um, and what we're going to do is just up these yellows. So 52 and 33. You see, we're starting to get that nice warmer look. 61. What we're going to do is just push this in. So you can see there, we're just highlighting this from the cold and just bringing out the nice yellows there. Okay. Right. So you can see that the photo's almost there, but we just then want to have a look at some sharpening detail so all I did was bring this up to about 68 and then kept this at 1 and 25 but masking about 26 and we're going to bring this up a little bit as well and keep that the same alright so also um, I always enable the profile correction as well so you can see that that's just pushed it out a little bit and made it softer, which is quite nice. And then we're going to go into the post crop. And this is where we can really concentrate on that nice darkness that comes around. Push that up there. And we just round it off. the edges and push that further out and we put that there okay so pretty much the final stop here it's still a bit dark so I just move this down to camera standard and then it gives you this kind of image and we're just going to warm it up a little bit here Again, this was just having a play around just to see what happens. And we just dropped the blue. Down to about... Here. And then that's... pretty much where we did, probably just expose that up a little bit, like that, and then probably just make it 